Assalamualaikum and hello YouTube. My name is Nur Muhammad from Animosh and yes, we are back with another AliExpress Black Friday sale special. So today, I've just received this particular Adis Dive from a seller called Adis Dive Discount Store. So basically, this is a paid promotion video. So they have sent me this particular wristwatch check for today. This is the Adis Dive AD2066. So another excellent... Um, what do you call it? Uh, dress watch from Addis Dive. So yeah, let's get into it. And of course, in this video, also I will explain to you what I, why I think that Addis Dive is the best budget brand from AliExpress for 2024. Right? Let's go. Let's go into it. Okay guys, so this is the Addis Dive AD2066 dress watch uh, from um, sent to me by Addis Dive Discount Store on AliExpress and basically this one you can get it now on Black Friday sales starting from 22nd of November up to 3rd of December for just 36.5 USD before tax blah blah blah. So for <laughs> what do you get for that 36 bucks? It, you know what it, it's really interesting how cheap and how they managed to get this at a very very low price so this one is a 316L stainless steel construction watch uh, basically all the steel that you see here is made from um, stainless steel and you do get a mineral crystal unfortunately but yeah it's, it's it is okay for the money and um, you do get that Seiko VH31 that makes the second hand looks like it is an automatic watch so of course this is the quartz if you don't know and it takes the second hand ticks at 4 four times per second so that is why you can see that this the, the, the second hand is looks like an automatic watch so um the this, these things come uh, available in this awesome green dial i've never had this what it calls a very very pale lime green and it also came with a very dark gray and also a white dial i think those looked a bit a bit too boring so i went for this particular thing and yeah and it, it looks absolutely awesome guys so um this the the size of this thing right uh 36.5 millimeters in diameter thickness of about 9.5 mil luck to luck is 45 mil and luck width of 19 millimeters so yeah that's a bit of a bummer but still awesome watch for the money if you don't mind this bracelet which is okay it has a split pin construction we do have like five micro adjust here and yeah this awesome swing arm here and this simple um engraved case back here and the, the bracelet it's okay it doesn't match the brushing brush finishing on the on this on this on the case but yeah that's not a bad thing because it is 36.5 us dollars so polish finishing on the side of the case uh, brush finishing on the top and we do have a polish let me just zoom a bit polish finishing on the bezel itself and yeah check out that chris oh sorry the, the super sorry screw down crown to adjust the, uh, the the time and it comes with this yeah the unique setting font of this particular piece which is then this awesome dial we do have a few layered here i must say i don't know what to call this type of dial maybe um maybe it's just a maybe not a layer it's just a some maybe you should just zoom in a bit to for you to understand yeah that that ring there i don't know what to call it but yeah awesome looking uh, ring at the outer side of the dial and we do have applied indices which looks absolutely cool for a for a watch that is very very affordable right so this case right this case is basically the same case that they used on another Addis dive that, that i received from aliexpress this one is from aliexpress this one from the Addis dive seller right so both of them used the exact same case that is why i know how the, the case feel looks like this one is no slouch this one is again available for 32 bucks which is just like what four bucks cheaper compared to this one but yeah still you, you, if you go for either one with one of these you just can't go wrong right so let's just quickly show you again how it looks like on my skinny 6.75 inch wrist so that is how it looks like so i don't really mind I'm using this uh, 19 millimeters slot with a watch because I don't think I will ever take it off the bracelet. Right. So, yeah, that is about this particular watch. I will be using this for about maybe two or three weeks or even a month before giving it a full review treatment. But still, let's just check out what are the budget 
uh, the other budget watches that I think is excellent from uh, Adidas Dive for this part, this 2024. So we've already met this <laughs> this older guy, AD2030, awesome uh, watch for the money. I think, and next, the third watch for today is this Adidas Dive AD2048, an excellent homage to the Hamilton Kaki Field Automatic. So I've done a full review of this particular piece. Awesome looking dial here. Yeah, it mimics the, you know, the... <coughs> the Hamilton but not exactly the same especially in the case design so you can see that this is your typical Adidas Dive case design that has been used so many times before they just put in this um, Adidas Dive sorry uh, Hamilton Kaki film uh, automatic design here with the hands and everything so but it's not really a hundred percent chromage right so awesome value for money this one really is 82048 available right now after all the coupons blah 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 so again sometimes my subscriber mentioned to me that they couldn't get the, the price that i i said because you know what different people get different discounts here so i they just show you what i got on the aliexpress page but yeah still you might get same or less and yeah that it all depends on which uh, level you are at now so of course don't forget to get the coupons from the seller the the the, the coupons from aliexpress and also use the coins available so this is the ad2048 excellent watch next up is the myh6 puck so this is uh sorry i forgot to mention 39 millimeter in diameter to 49 mil lux to lux. so that's yeah that, that makes the lux to lux is a bit um a bit big you know what let's just um a bit big on this on the on the wrist so let's just show it how show how it looks like so yeah that's a bit too long at 49 but yeah i don't really mind it it still uh, looks and feels comfortable on my wrist so next up is this behemoth 1000 meters diver from Addis dive this is the myh6 so i have no idea if it really could uh, achieve 1000 um water resistance but yeah it is what it is but do take it with a pinch of salt guys so all in all for less uh, how much are this uh, right now 58 bucks right 58 bucks again the price that i get right now during the aliexpress black friday sales you might not get it you might get more cheaper or you might get it uh, a bit more expensive it all depends on your situation so again awesome looking watch with yeah 46 mil puck style watch uh, just way too big for my for my my wrist you can see that yeah 36 versus 46 yeah it's totally okay but it is kind of a wild card watch for me so you can see that i do i could i still could pull it off but yeah still it is a big big watch so i just i'm just afraid that i would bang this on my car door when i'm training and uh, when i'm tra entering trying to enter my car because we do drive on the right side here in malaysia so yeah it is okay quite a big one but yeah i think this will soon be sold for some for other guys to enjoy it because i just can't handle the 46 mil uh, diameter guys it's just not my style next up is another newcomer so i think i've got this early november um this is the Addis dive ad2047 the monster homage so this is basically a a mishmash of a case um sorry must uh, seiko monster gen 2 with a bit of seiko monster gen 4 dial here but with a twist because that particular 12 in the, uh, that that 12 o'clock indices uh, looks like a an mm 300 um, in 12 hour indices and we only have date wheel here not day date day date wheel as as you know as your usual seiko monster do so um excellent watch for the money so i think this one is available right now for about 70 bucks and yeah for it the, the bracelet looks and feels awesome and and this this the this case, case construction 42 mil is just the right size for a seiko monster gen 2 homage and yeah i just I love how it feels when I put it on this particular um, Borealis vulcanized rubber strap. So, yeah, excellent means monster how much in my opinion. Some people might not like it. Some people might, some people do, but yeah, still awesome piece for the money, guys. What do you guys think about that? So, next up is another um, Addis dive that I think has been ignored right so this one is the ad2113 so there's also a few other models with ad uh, called the ad2112 it's just the difference is that this one is homaging 
uh, Tudor and the other AD2112 is emerging a Rolex Explorer Explorer so there's a difference there so it does have that snowflake hands handset here and yeah I think it looks cool um, this one has enamel dial diameter is 39 mil lock to lock thing is about 49 as well so again um, typical Explorer 39 mil case design here for me it's just a bit too large in my opinion so that's just me I do prefer if, if I am to go for an Explorer style dial nowadays I will always go for the 36 mil but this one if you like the 39 mil uh, size watch so it's, this is not bad and one thing that I think I might be wrong here guys I think this if if you are to go for this particular watch so you will still get this excellent bracelet so let me show you what is the special thing about this one so and normally you can see that there's no holes there's no pins whatsoever at the side of the bracelet right because they are using this spring system right like that so that you can always you can easily uh, easily adjust the bracelet so I might they might not use this system anymore they might still use I don't know please do check with the seller if they are they are still using this particular bracelet system before you but you click that buy button right next up is another excellent Addis dive in my opinion this is the Addis dive 2 uh, 049 mini tuna surf dude so again similar to this one the, the dial is exactly similar it's just that they put the date uh, wheel the date hole is in, in different position so the dial texture is again similar but the the, the indices is um, again uh, different even compared to the this the try the watch that uh, this watch is trying to homage the S Seiko SRP H77 I think so yeah basically this is what we call a mini tuna homage so normally people will go for tuna homage which is a bit too big in my opinion but this one even if the dimension said that it is a 43 mil diameter watch basically when you wear it it wears really really small let's just give it a comparison right so this is supposed to be a 42 mil diameter watch but you see the case design is very thick this one you can see that the, the, the dial on the monster is a whole lot bigger compared to this to this AD2049 and that is one of the reasons why when I wear it on the wrist it feels a whole lot smaller than the dimension suggests right so awesome looking piece I just don't think that this mini tuna design gets a lot of attention from Aliexpress but yeah still uh, awesome looking uh, watch in my opinion so uh, if, if, if I completely forget all of this one two three four five watches is using Seiko NH35 yep that's awesome right so next three watches that I'm going to introduce is the MYH H2 so I'm basically I'm going to be putting some picture over here uh, this is an homage of a certain um, maybe uh, Mark's Egg or Pilot Watch um, I just don't know it looks like a your typical Pilot a, a type dial watch so yeah I've reviewed this particular piece a long long time ago of solid and that, that thing is still an excellent watch if you guys want to get a Pilot Watch for about 46 US dollars basically it is the exact same case as this one 82048 but a different dial which mimics a, a you know a pilot's watch next up is the ad2040 which is basically the exact same watch using the exact same case as this one but it comes with a different dial for if i am to go for that one right now i would go i would go for the blue dial uh, version which looks cool because it, the, it has that um date wheel with a you know with this uh, red red outline which looks cool and again available for US dollars 46 which is absolutely and a bargain in my opinion next up is the AD2014 available right now for USD 78 dollars and it is a basically a Seiko Willard homage but in bronze right so how often do we hear a bronze watch which costs less than 100 bucks let alone less than less than 80 bucks so yeah it's just amazing guys what this dive could give us right now so yeah if you guys uh, want to get one of these so please do use my affiliate link in I, I will put some in the video description below so if you do that you would not pay more than you should but you do you will help the channel so that I can you know always I will, I will get more of this for review in the upcoming sales right so let's just do the obligatory loom shot so let's just give this watch some uh, charge before we 
shut off the lights and light hide and see how they look like. I guess ready, three to one, and boom, even guys, the oh my god, even this awesome dress watch. Check out that BGW9 Super Luminova on this particular Adidas dive. The one thing that makes this watch, this Adidas dive, much better than the other budget watches on AliExpress is that they don't skip on the loom right so if you are to buy any um pagani design with the same exact amount of money you will not get an excellent loom such as this so yeah that is why i prefer i only have like what two adis uh, sorry two pagani design in my collection but adis dive yeah i can always <laughs> recommend you any time of the day because the loom right i'm 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 a bit of a loom junkie here and the loom on these things are awesome if you guys love loom like i do so yeah you won't you won't be, be, be disappointed with the loom amount of loom available on the other stuff right so there we have it guys so this is my you know best uh, selection for alice uh, alice dive during this uh, black friday sales 2024 so e i am going to be selling a few of these pieces to make room for a few other watches so if you guys are interested do hit me in the comment section below so if you guys like this video please give me a big thumbs up and if you want to see more future video reviews such as this one please go ahead and subscribe to my channel until next time i'll see you soon stay safe and bye bye